Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my furniture-free minimalist living room. I mentioned that I was decluttering and going furniture-free in my living room in a previous video and I thought it was time to give you a tour. Although there's really not much to tour because there's nothing here. But you're probably wondering why I decided to go furniture-free in my living room at least and if maybe you should consider doing it too. I'll definitely tell you all about my crazy decision to get rid of my living room furniture, but first let me introduce myself. If this is our first time hanging out, I'm Suki Baxter, founder of Whole Body Revolution, and I help you to rewire yourself for greater health, happiness, and success. Let's go ahead and dive right into today's topic. So first, the why. I noticed over time that I'd accumulated a lot of mismatched furniture. Nothing really went together and it didn't fit the space and I was really tired of tripping over random objects that I felt like I should have a use for but I really didn't. So the first step in creating what you want is to clear out everything that you don't want. And second, I noticed I'd gotten into a habit of relaxing with a Netflix show or two at the end of a day and I told myself it was a harmless habit and everyone needs a way to decompress. But at the same time, I was constantly talking about how I didn't have time to do all of the things that I wanted to do, like stretching more or learning about things that were really interesting to me or making videos like these for you. So I made the decision to get rid of my TV. And then if I didn't need the TV, I also didn't need the TV stand, which was kind of falling apart anyway. And it just sort of cascaded from there and I just kept getting rid of all of the furniture because I looked around my living room and I was like, wait, why do I have any of this stuff? I feel so confined in this room and I just wanted space to spread out. And then third, furniture is actually part of our social conditioning. Pretty much everyone in the westernized world has a sofa and some chairs to recline in. It just kind of assumed that that's a comfortable way to live. But actually there's a ton of benefits to sitting on the floor or even just changing up the way that you're sitting or the chairs you're sitting in. From a strength and mobility standpoint, the more varied positions you use throughout the day, the more flexible you're gonna be. And getting up and down from the floor actually builds strength too. There's also a lot of research that shows us that more diverse and complex movement patterns improve thinking, creativity, and problem-solving skills. Babies who miss movement milestones also show delays in cognitive development. And dancing has been shown to protect against dementia in senior citizens. Personally, I find that I get my best creative ideas when I'm moving. And going furniture-free in my living room naturally means that I move more. I find that having this wide open space prompts me to move around more and stretch more. Plus I have this big basket of movement tools available as well, so I can just grab a yoga wheel or a ball and play around whenever I want. I don't have to mess around with moving furniture or bumping into things. And this helps me to start listening to my body more too, which is something that most of us are terrible at. Most of us learned early in life not to pay attention to our most basic biological urges. We had to go to school and learn to sit still and not fidget, and we had to even ask permission to go to the bathroom. So that can really stifle your creativity and your thinking. Innovative companies like Google and Amazon know that your environment is critical to your thinking. Your environment literally shapes your neural processes. The more diverse your movement patterns, the more neural connections you are building in your brain. So there are people who've gone completely furniture free in their homes and you can find furniture free home tours all over YouTube. Of course, I still do have some furniture in my home. I still have a regular bed 
and I have a day bed that I use as a sofa and a guest bed when I have people stay over. But I've pushed that out of my living room so it is kind of in a corner. And for a number of years I actually did sleep on something called a shiki bouton, which is essentially a Japanese futon style mattress that's very thin and usually it's placed on a mat or on the floor. And it was pretty comfortable, but I found over time that it would develop kind of a hollow in the middle where my hips would rest. And that's just where there was the most pressure on the mattress. So eventually I decided I wanted something with a little bit more support. And now I actually sleep on something called an avocado mattress, which is a combination of inner spring and latex, natural latex and wool, and I can link to that in the description down below if anyone is interested in checking those out. So there you have it, my furniture-free living room and why I got all crazy and gave everything away. I'm curious if you're considering going furniture-free too, or even if you're just considering dedicating one room in your home to a minimalist space where you can sit on the floor and move around more. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. If you've liked this video, like it down below and definitely subscribe so you never miss a video update. Next up, I've got a couple of video recommendations for you. Go ahead and click the videos on your screen to watch those next.